Good afternoon guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, today I woke up late because it was really weird. I woke up at like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, then like it started thunderstorming at like 5 and then I woke up again at 6. Like I woke up every single hour from 3 o'clock onward and then at 6 o'clock I was like, you know what? I was like, should I just get up? I was like, because I can't fall back asleep like by 6 o'clock. And so I was like, and I've been up like every single hour. I was like, well, you know, if that's the case, if I keep waking up every single hour, then I'll just wait till my alarms go off at seven o'clock and I'll get up then. And then I slept right through my alarm clocks, didn't hear them at all. And I didn't get up until like 930 or 945 or something like that. It was ridiculous guys um because yeah it was like thunderstorming at like five or something like that and then i think it started thunderstorming again like it stopped for a while and i fell back to sleep and then it started again at like six o'clock but it was so weird because it was like like i didn't get into deep sleep most likely from like three o'clock until like onward because every single little thing i heard and would wake me up like the dog like for some reason too she's been really weird i think she's hot so she sleeps on the floor but then randomly in the middle of the night i think that was what first woke me up at like three in the morning she wanted to get up on my bed and so like even the littlest things that like normally i sleep right through i've been waking up to like i said you know like the rain which it wasn't even thundering i actually heard when it started raining like i heard it on my windows and I was like, wow, it's raining. And then it wasn't until like an hour, half an hour later, whatever it was, like six o'clock, then I heard like the thunderstorm, um, I think, or something like that. But I heard the thunder and the lightning and stuff like that and woke me up again. And so it was like really bizarre though, because it was like every single little thing, like I said, even like the just the rain on the window, like I heard it. And like I wasn't even like, I didn't even have my eyes open for like a good like 10 minutes. And I was like, what is that noise? like but i was still like asleep but i knew that something was making a noise that like it was so weird and so i don't know it was just like i was in like not deep sleep at all like it was still like i was totally other than my eyes being closed like i was totally like aware of my surroundings and what was going on which sometimes will happen to me but like only if i'm not in like a super deep sleep and then all of a sudden i must have been from six o'clock onward because then i didn't even hear my alarm clocks going off because i was like every single little thing is waking me up because that's why i started thinking at like six o'clock i was like you know what? i'll just fall asleep and hopefully the um what's it called my alarm clock will <laughs> wake me up at seven o'clock i was like because it should since i keep waking up and it didn't so it was so weird but guys i got so much done today my clothes guys all gone nothing else is here i'm so happy um and then two these are my stuffed animals i pretty much cleaned almost all of this off with the exception of like my phone my camera my water my my remote for my tv my laptop and my alarm clock these are my stuffed animals that were on here i just got done cleaning this out these are all of my vitamins and my deodorant and then my bed spray that I use to help me fall asleep. So this stuff is stuff that I kind of like still need out. And then this, I don't even know what this stuff is. Um, I was going through all the boxes that were up here. These are all taken care of. And this was random stuff that was up there too, but it doesn't really belong up there. So I have to figure out a new spot for that. I also went through all of my jewelry today. And I started cleaning off most of this, but I needed to get to the clothes first before I could do that. It's actually like 10 o'clock i'm gonna take a shower before i go to bed tonight i still have to do my work for today i didn't get done i'm super upset because i'm doing it so late i try and do it earlier but in today unfortunately i'm gonna have to do it later because i also got my grocery list done so i'm not gonna have to stay up super late to do that it should be you know real quick like i said hopefully i'm the for work today um but other than that i didn't do anything else under my bed because most of that is done already the literally like the only thing I pretty much have left to do is most likely um, I just need to go through this drawer which is most of my like stationary type things which will be going into pretty much this box and then also probably this box too because this is all the stuff that's going to go into my new desk um, which actually came today too guys I'll show you guys it um, and so this is all this stuff that's in here and then in this drawer too this is kind of like electronic things that I'm also going to have to put in my new desk along with like these things um, I have another thing full of electronics but I'll show you guys that later um, or show, share, you guys, share with you guys when I actually finish my room and then my paper too is going in a different little drawer and then down here I'm not even sure what's in here oh gosh I got more papers more papers 
because I have to go through. But this is pretty much clean. My other desk is, is clean with the exception of just like a couple of things that like I have my sales papers. I'm going to be taking the grocery stores tomorrow and a couple. A little bit of that. So guys, um, but yeah, I realized I have way too many clothes. I actually got rid of like a half of a garbage bag full of clothes today and I still have too much that I'm like the problem I feel like is really though that I have several jackets and normally in the past I don't think I've hung my jackets up in my closet and I did and so they're taking up a lot of extra space and I also normally don't hang like I had my dresses hanging upstairs in the attic and um, I moved them down to my closet so I could have easier access to them so I could wear them more often which doesn't happen um, so I'm kind of like should I move them back upstairs but I don't really have anywhere to move them to but um, again that's an extra thing that I have there that I didn't originally and also too I have a bunch of bags like my backpack I have a couple of other bags like in purses and things like that that I have on hangers and I have them hanging in my closet too so they're taking up like not a ton of space but you know a good portion or smallish portion that could be used for more clothes I have to use my second like I have two um what's it called rods in my closet and the one top one is the one that I always use and the bottom one is the one normally I set my clothes for the next day day out on or I was when I was doing like weekly um but I wanted to do that but since I don't have enough room I'm gonna have to start going through a lot more and like really diligently being like how much do I wear this because I was kind of like and this stuff I haven't worn at least at all this year and probably the year before that so I'm getting rid of it but I'm gonna have to really go through it and really be like what do I wear what do I not wear because I got a lot more clothes for Christmas and now like in like winter clothes and so it's a lot bigger bigger bulkier stuff that's taking up space and I wish that I could put all of my winter stuff like away for the winter but the problem is is that I'm so bad with my laundry that it will probably sit up there until like the following winter <laughs> like I'd be like okay I gotta go get my my winter clothes out of the attic and it wouldn't happen until like next year so um you know the following winter so that's why I would love to do that but I don't really think it's like a feasible option for me just because I know my limitations <laughs> that's probably one of them so anyway so guys yeah like I said gonna get to this work stuff I am Super excited, like I said, just a little bit left. Other than that, I just have this stuff to do. And that will be it. I will be ready to go. I'll be ready to start moving stuff out of here and start moving, um, you know, start getting ready for my desk to be put together. And well, my wall's painted first. We're gonna go get paint tomorrow and going to put my desk together and I'll show you guys. So guys, this, this is the desk. This is just the actual desk part, right? It's an L-shaped desk and da, 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 I thought there was a picture yeah that's what it looks like I know it's upside down here I'll see if I can flip it for you guys looks like that um so yeah I don't know how well you guys are able to see it so that's that this is the the desk it is extre extremely heavy and that is just the hutch back there I don't know if you guys can even see it but because it's so heavy we have to keep the puppies out they're sleeping in the basket in here guys they're so cute hi little angel Hi! Hi Charlie! Hi Bravo! Hi! And both of Charlie's ears are officially down guys. They've been for like the last two days or so. Hi Bravi! Bravi! Hi baby! Oh my gosh that tongue was way too long! Oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh you're so cute! You guys are so cute in your little basket! We can't let the puppies over there because that thing is extremely heavy. Um, and if it fell on one of the puppies, it would probably kill them. So we have to make sure they stay away. I mean, like, we have nowhere else to put it. Like, we could go put it out in the garage, but my dad wasn't feeling good today, so we couldn't. So the puppies, obviously, they're sleeping in their bed right now, but we have the gate up so that they can't get too close to it um hopefully for it to hurt them but the good thing is is that it's heavy because that means it's really good like high quality that was one thing i really liked that i saw on a lot of the reviews where people were saying like it's really good sturdy quality it's really big um and like all this kind of stuff so i was like that's exactly what i want because i don't want something that's super cheap i mean for 300 bucks i hope it's not going to be super cheap but i mean that's 300 bucks plus the hutch which is kind of you know like good so anyways though yeah they said that that brand and that like the a lot of the stuff from that 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 series of desks that they make and stuff like that and that 
you know, I don't even know what it's called, like a series or whatever, but um, th that type of stuff, I think it's called the Mage Magellan by Real Space, and all the Magellan series stuff is really good quality, so I was like, that's exactly what I want. Good, good high quality, feels like it's really expensive, like good wood stuff, so I was like, okay. And yeah, it being that heavy, I expected it to. They had to have two people carry it in here today. Um, anyway, so guys, I gotta get to work so I can take a shower and head to bed, get to bed early, then go grocery shopping and get to all of the grocery stores and things like that, um, and then go pick up my paint. I'm going to Sherman, Sherman Williams? My mom said I was saying it wrong. Sherman Williams. I thought that's how it always was, but... Um, I have to go there to get the actual paint color, but the primer I'm going to get at Menards tomorrow. So long story short, guys, I got a lot of errands to run tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.